and welcome to York News, a brief look at what's new and what's happening in York County. I'm Gail Whitaker. Coming up on this edition of York News, the sesquicentennial celebration of the Civil War comes to historic Yorktown. So our, our big joke on these reenactment things is, is that we're not reenactors, we are actually blues. Welcome to the regular meeting, June the 5th, the Board of Supervisors. Up first, the Board of Supervisors held its meeting on Tuesday, June 5th. At the meeting, the board received the final quarterly report from the Youth Commission. The board presented the 2011-2012 commissioners with a resolution of commendation. Again, on behalf of the, not only the youth, but all the citizens of York County, thank you very much, and all the best of luck to you in your future. So thank you. And introduced newly appointed commissioners to the 2012-2013 Youth Commission. That your primary part is remember your education and continue to work forward that because it's, uh, it might, it's been my experience with this group. They have a tendency to be overachievers and uh, they do an awful lot of stuff. Congratulations on, on being youth commissioners and uh, I'd say go forward and do good things got input from all these people and then put all that together. Following the presentations, the board held a joint meeting with the Economic Development Authority and discussed the implementation of the curbside recycling program. The board approved all items on the consent calendar, including minutes of a previous meeting, a support agreement with child development resources for the operation of an early childhood care and developmental service in the Griffin Yates building, the commendation of employees Roland Dennis and Joan Dunn, who are retiring from county service. The Employee of the Quarter Award. Procurement arrangements for construction of the Queens Lake Vacuum Sewer Station Project. York County's VRS employer and member contribution rates and school division's elected rate. And the refund of taxes to W&H Realty. The next meeting of the Board of Supervisors is scheduled for Tuesday, June 19th at 6 p.m. in the boardroom of York Hall. There are four public hearings on the agenda. A request to amend the conditions of approval for the reserve at Williamsburg planned development by adding townhouses and assisted living units to the list of permitted housing types and deleting the sequencing requirements for commercial and residential space. An ordinance to amend a section of the York County Code to add a segment of Bay Tree Beach Road to the list of secondary system streets where parking is prohibited an ordinance to establish the salaries of the members of the Board of Supervisors, and a resolution to authorize the County Administrator to execute a lease agreement with Child Development Resources for the operation of an early childhood care and developmental service in the Griffin Yates Center. Public hearings begin at 7 p.m. For more information about the Board of Supervisors meetings, call the County Administrator's office at 890-3320. The board's complete agenda, including all supporting materials, is also available on the county's website at www.yorkcounty.gov. Board of Supervisors meetings are retelecast on WYCG-TV on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11 a.m., 7 p.m., and 11 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. Programs scheduled for 6 p.m. on the board's meeting dates will be preempted by the live meeting. What are you here for? I want to shop. I want to go to the beach. Meetings are also available both live and on demand on the web. WYCG TV programming on the web may be reached by logging on to the county's website and then selecting WYCG on the home page. The Board of Supervisors is currently seeking applications from county citizens interested in serving on the York County Wetlands Board. The Wetlands Board protects public and private property, wildlife, marine fisheries, and the natural environment through preservation of county tidal wetlands. The Board issues wetland permits, enforces the York County Wetlands Ordinance, and promotes the proper use and protection of wetland areas. Citizens interested in applying for appointment to the Wetlands Board are asked to submit a Board Bank application to the County Administrator's Office, 224 Ballard Street. Applications are available in that office or by calling 890-3320. Applications may also be obtained and filed by visiting www.yorkcounty.gov, then selecting Online Services, and then Board Bank Application. York Pocosin Sheriff Danny Diggs presented a $500 Virginia Sheriff's Institute scholarship check to Shelby Henley earlier this month. Ms. Henley is a York County graduate attending Virginia Commonwealth University with a criminal justice major and a concentration in forensics. 
Peter Beater Tom Gallagher presented Dare Elementary School third grader Gina Craig with two Barnes and Noble gift cards for being the overall winner in the Mosquito Beater 2012 poster contest. 200 posters were submitted this year with a winner being selected from each school and then an overall winner among them. Congratulations to Gina. 99th New York! Memorial Day weekend was full of activity as the Civil War in York County was celebrated with reenactments, Private Strauss, hell, an encampment, and more. War that touched every Virginia in different ways. The Civil War History Mobile visited, and many interested adults and school children were able to visit this traveling museum to learn more about the Civil War in Virginia. And he opens up a small company, the name of which was the Zeppelin Corporation. We are now the site of the world's record balloon. Participants reenacted the use of aerial balloon surveillance during the war and the impact the balloonists had on determining troop movements and battle plans. The York County Historical Committee and York County honored our war dead with a program at the War Memorial located on the grounds of York Hall. The crew of the Waterman's Museum was hard at work on building the Henry. Of course, Memorial Day weekend was filled with the sounds of music and excitement during market days at the river. You can use almost any kind of sauce. You can use it with the regular one, which is the nine ounces. Yeah, you like hot? Uh, next time I think about you, I'll make it more hot. Yorktown was definitely the place to be. The excitement continued the following weekend when Yorktown held three days of waterfront celebration. As an affiliate port with Opsale 2012 Virginia, Yorktown was the setting for the Yorktown Maritime Weekend at Riverwalk Landing. The weekend included free public tours of tall ships and military vessels and static military displays, a parade of sail on Saturday along with music by the U.S. Navy Band and the fifes and drums of Yorktown, and much more. The seventh annual Shagging on the Riverwalk Beach Music Concert Series continues at Riverwalk Landing with the main event band on June 14th and the holiday band on June 21st. After a break, concerts will resume in July. The concerts are held from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. The Colonial Shag Club provides shag lessons, demonstrations, and club information. Don't forget to bring your dancing shoes. This series is free and open to the public. You are encouraged to bring lawn chairs or blankets with you for seating. A complete listing of bands can be found at www.visityorktown.org. Let's get the nose of it in the water. Visitors to New Quarter Park can rent a kayak to use exploring Queens Creek from New Quarter Park. Kayak rentals will be available each Saturday, June through October from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Rentals will include kayaks, life jackets, and paddles, as well as launching assistance for each patron. Staff will be present in the New Quarter Park office to assist all interested patrons. For more information, call 890-3500. And finally, the schedule has been set for the 33rd annual Yorktown 4th of July celebration, being held Wednesday, July 4th. Activities taking place in historic Yorktown will include the Yorktown Independence Day 8K Run and 5K Walk, the parade on Water Street, the sounds of Liberty Bell ringing ceremony, William Floyd, Glenn Boswick and the sounds of Swing Orchestra, and of course, spectacular fireworks over the York River. For more event information, please visit www.yorkcounty.gov slash fourth or call 890-3500. That's all for this edition of York News. Please join us on June 27th for the next edition of York News. Until then, thanks for watching.